The Department of Health in the state of Massachusetts might have spied on people to track their movements during COVID. Those are the allegations in a new lawsuit. A report in the main wire accuses the state of secretly installing surveillance software on personal smartphones without users' knowledge or consent. The report claims the state even worked with Google to do this. The lawsuit saying, quote, when some Android device owners discovered and subsequently deleted the app, the Department of Public Health would reinstall it onto their devices. The suit is asking for symbolic damages of one dollar. We've reached out to the Massachusetts governor, the Department of Health for comments, and we've not heard back. Stephen Robinson is the editor in chief of the MainWire.com. He joins us now. Stephen, walk us through how you uncovered this story. Uh, well, the lawsuit was actually filed in U.S. District Court in Massachusetts by Kern and Antonelli, a Boston law firm. Uh, also on the suit is the New Civil Liberties Alliance, which is out of Washington, D.C. Uh, they fought, filed the lawsuit on behalf of two plaintiffs, one who is lives in New, uh, New Jersey but also travels to Massachusetts for work, and the other who lives in New Hampshire and travels to Massachusetts for work. Now, they're representing them uh, in a suit, like you said, is only asking for one dollar. They're more asking for uh, relief in the form of stopping this illegal spying that they allege is happening on anyone with an Android device. Now, it's happening in Massachusetts. The Department of Public Health in Massachusetts are the ones who partnered with Google in order to install this contact tracing software on people's phones. But the, a key part of the lawsuit is that it's happening to anyone who drove through or traveled through Massachusetts during that time because they used geolocation uh, in order to target which smartphones it would be installed on. And importantly, it only affects Android devices. And as you said, uh, the governor of Massachusetts isn't interested in commenting on this. Margaret Cook, the commissioner for uh, the Department of Public Health, she's not commenting on it. No one is saying who authorized this, whether it was someone in the government or someone from Google. Just a clarifying question here. Did, did these smartphone users, did they have to download an app for, for them to be allegedly tracked? No, they did not, Emma. So originally, the, the contact tracing program started in Massachusetts shortly after the pandemic began. And in 2021, they partnered with Google to create this contact tracing uh, application. And originally, it was a voluntary thing, but uh, fewer than 5,000 people voluntarily downloaded it onto their phones. For something like this to really work, you need a critical mass of people to have it on their phones. So rather than engage in a deliberate public affairs campaign in order to encourage people to install this on their phone, they just force installed it, according to the lawsuit. Uh, there are comments uh, reviewing the app, thousands of people who say, what is this? I, I didn't install this on my phone. I deleted it, and now it's back on my phone. So the, the state of Massachusetts has some questions to answer. Right now, they're not interested in answering those questions. And it's uh, the privacy implications here are pretty, pretty stark because – this app was reporting users' location data. It also used the Bluetooth feature on people's phones to tell which other phones they were in uh, proximity to. So this was a, a vast spying campaign that affected anyone who traveled through Massachusetts. And according to my reporting, there are people in Maine who traveled through Massachusetts only once within the last three or four years, and that was in September of this year. Mm -hmm. So this spying campaign could be ongoing. There's no evidence right now that they have stopped it. Mm. Uh, Stephen, when you look at who's compiling this this data, uh, this location tracking, who has it? And is, is there any uh, evidence that they've sort of done anything in particular with it? Well, these are all good questions. I mean, people on social media have raised the idea, hey, this is a serious uh, you know, infringement on our right to privacy. How many lives did we save through this contact tracing program being forced installed on people's phones? It's a good question for the state of Massachusetts to answer. Right now, they're not answering any questions. Uh, also, I've asked them, where was this data being stored? There are rules that govern how governments and companies can custody user data like this. Uh, where is it? Is Does Google have it? Does the Department of Public Health have it? Have they accessed it for other reasons? Is there any record of whoever was accessing this data or how it was used? Mm -hmm. None of those questions are answered. I've submitted a public records request with the Department of Public Health to try to get to the bottom of this. Uh, but they, the, all they're saying now is that they don't comment on pending litigation. Mm -hmm. And uh, Governor Baker is going to be out of office in a few short weeks. And he has really no incentive to come clean about his role, if any, in this spyware campaign. Yeah, so so many unanswered questions. Just also a uh, follow-up. You said you're not sure if this is still ongoing. Again, if you were to have an Android and travel through Massachusetts, uh, can you put that to rest at least at this point? 
I, I cannot. I, I have. I have. I can't say that they're no. They're, they have stopped installing that spyware on people's phones. And the Department of Public Health isn't saying. All I know is that as of as recently as September, this spyware was still being installed on people's phones without permission and without their knowledge. And I also think it's important to note that the Department of Public Health, working with Google, took steps to ensure that this program would live secretly on people's phones mm -hmm. because it isn't installed in the usual applications folder on Android devices. You kind of have to hunt for it in the settings feature of the phone in order to find it and reinstall it. So it it's, would seem to suggest that they knew what they were doing was controversial mm -hmm. and they were trying to get away with something in secret. There, yeah, again, not much disclosed uh, according to this allegation. How did the plaintiffs realize that this data was being uh, captured? Well, that's not revealed in the lawsuit, but I think it was probably uh, public. I think someone probably looked at the reviews after finding the app on their phone. I think people who are a little bit more tech savvy might understand the implications of an app being forced installed on their phone when they went to do a little more research and saw thousands and thousands of comments of people who had similar complaints. Hey, what is this thing doing on my phone? I didn't authorize this. What kind of data is it sending and to whom? Um, so I think that's probably how they discovered it. Okay. Uh, plenty of questions remain. Again, allegations that the state was using an app to sort of track uh, people coming and going, and we're waiting for the mm -hmm. state's response as well at this point. Again, you got to be able to prove all of this in the court of law. Uh, we're going to follow the lawsuit. Stephen Robinson, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it.